Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Blablak and I'm here today to teach you how to grapple, how to maximize your speed and effectiveness, how to slingshot, how to manage your jumps, how to understand grapple mechanics and a lot more. Let's get started! Okay, I can't use a blind man. No. Our adventure with grapple we will start from understanding how in fact grapple mechanics work. Let's stand in front of a wall and use our ability. And let's do so looking in different directions. So what we can see we are being pulled towards grapple point. So there is a force that acts on our pilot body. Looking at different directions do not really influence speed or where we are going. Now I'm just going to hold one of my strafe keys. You can see that my movements change a little towards the strafe direction. Pay attention to the key that I'm pressing and direction I'm looking at. What we can learn from that is that holding forward key is changing direction of our movement in the direction we are looking at. When we are slingshotting, our pilot is influenced by three forces. One of them is from grapple, a constant force that pulls us towards grapple point. Second one comes from the strafe and is directed to the place we are looking at. To add that force, to our grapple equation, we have to hold W, or whatever our forward button is. Its value starts from zero, if angle equals zero degrees, and is getting higher, the closer it is to reach 90 degrees right angle value. After breaching 90 degree angle, grapple detaches however. Third and the last force also comes from the strafe. This time it is one of your strafe keys. It pulls you away from the grapple point, increasing angles and speed that you can reach. If you don't remember from your physics lessons how to calculate net forces, here is a graph for you. Of course in Apex Legends everything happens in three dimensions. So what does this knowledge give to you? you Understanding things. what exactly is happening should help you avoid many beginner mistakes and get that initial feeling of grapple slingshot faster. Still, you won't acquire skill without hours of practice. Let's get into another point on our list, which is managing our jump. In Apex Legends, we are being gifted with the ability to perform single jump. You can utilize it for your grapples to get more height. Most slingshots are not possible without that skill, so it's crucial to perform it consistently. Timing is what makes it especially difficult to learn, but don't worry. And don't get frustrated if you will fail with a couple of your first tries. The outcome is worth it, I guarantee you. Okay, all that. Here we go. Take a look at this clip. One of the indicators that you can use is animation of Pathfinder's arm. You jump as soon as it's fully straightened. However, not always you will be blessed with that indicator. In this clip, due to the nature of the grapple angle, your legend arm will not be visible. Then, you have to listen to sound cue of your grapple. As soon as it attaches, you should jump. Yet again, it is a matter of practice. With time, you will be able to perform it automatically. Initiate jump not always should be used. Sometimes, the only way to get you where you want is to completely forget about it. Preserving a spit on the ground is not really a topic of this video, but I can give you some hints. For instance, I can tell you that on the completely flat surfaces, and downhills, doing a slight hops will increase the maximum reach of Pathfinder. If you want to do that, then don't jump immediately after reaching ground, unless it's completely necessary of course, and let your slide last for a moment. Another thing worth to notice is that if you are approaching ground from the angle over 45 degrees, you will never be able to keep your momentum and you will get stuck flat on the ground immediately. Alright. Now I'm going to leave you with more examples of grapple slingshot in variety of situations. Pay attention to the keyboard overlay, especially to the timing of the jumps.
Right, go in three, two, no. I wish I reloaded before going in. This is everything for this guide. I hope that you have learned something new. For those of you who were there with me throughout my Titanfall career, I thank you guys a lot for all your support. Now, my attention will be shifted mostly to Apex Legends, but I don't exclude a stream or a video on Titanfall 2 every now and then. And for those who are new, I hope that you enjoyed my content, and I will see you in the next one. See you soon, Legends! Nice work.